right, here's a quick update on Monkey Pod. She's doing so well, and right now she's open. She's uh, getting the sun. I'm so velvety, these leaves are just so soft. And they're just absorbing all the sun right now. And this is in full sun, just so much growth. This is where the sprout started right here. I had topped, it, topped this branch here, because it was dying above that. And these branches are just coming in real strong now. It's almost as tall as me. Trunk's getting thicker. Little branches coming in off the trunk. It's getting a little thicker. The Ivy Organics paint seems to be working really well. As you can see behind Monkey Pod, I started pruning this tree because it's pretty much dying on me. So I just started chopping it down. And back here by the trampoline, it's really getting, it's really getting packed. It's looking really green and it was just all dirt back here. All right, what's up everyone? It's Dave Stone with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills where I'm committed to providing inspirational and practical ways to transform your life and the world around you by planting fruit and medicinal trees. And right behind me, I actually have a couple medicinal trees. This is a neem tree and it's growing so well. You try to eat these leaves though, they're very bitter, but they're extremely good for your health. There's a lot of ways to consume neem. There's a lot of really good things about neem. But that's not what I'm gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna be talking about my favorite trees so far is Moringa. All my trees are kind of my favorite trees, but uh, I am obsessed with Moringa, so that's why this video is about those. Now, this is an update video on Craig's Moringas. Some of you have been asking in the comments about the update on the moringas that I, the cuttings that I took from Craig's. Now you guys might have watched the video where we massacred Craig's moringa forest, and I took some cuttings back. We grabbed a couple trees, we dug them out of Craig's yard with a little bit of root ball attached, and we planted them here. And I'm gonna put right here what episode that was in, so you guys can check that video out. an update on those those small amount of root balls attached I'm not exactly sure when we planted these but I'll also put that right here how long ago I we put these in the ground that was the little cutting it's doing so well I'm gonna give you a close-up on this check it out this one is called Honolulu and uh, we me and Craig planted this together and this one had a little bit of a root ball attached it definitely took a little while to get any sprouts on it but once it did with a little bit of root ball attached I knew it, it just exploded. So if you can guys get, can dig up a tree a little bit, even if you really just hammer it out of there and grab some root ball, do it. Now this one is leaning, <laughs> the leaning tower of trees up. That's, oh yeah, this one's really kind of lean. I gotta stake this tree. Wow, yeah, that one's leaning quite a bit. But look at it go. And this one's called Kauai. This one had a little bit bigger root ball on it. Nice big trunk down there, um, but it's just really exploding. So definitely have to stake that bad boy ASAP. And then over here, just have a whole bunch of other ones. Now these are a couple of Craig's cuttings as well that, that happened. So this one was just a cutting, no root ball. And uh, it's got some nice big sprouts. You can see the dead trunk right here. And then the sprouts came up off the bottom. Hi there, beautiful. How you doing, honey? And then here's another uh, cutting from Craig's. It's also sprouting nicely. We moved this cutting because it was in the way of something else, but it's doing really well. And a little quick update. Look at these moringas go in here. The little ones in the cups. A little bit of shade during the summer. 
with constant water, they just blow up. So there's some amazing things happening in this greenhouse. Of course, all that grass too, I gotta clear that out. And then over here, you can see this cutting, that's one of Craig's cuttings in this big bucket. And it's really doing great. I need to actually put this one in the ground. Um, it's, got, it's got a lot of growth on it. It's really ready to get into the ground. These are the little uh, Dixie Cup Moringas, this, the red cups that I planted in the big pots. And man, they're just doing some, they're doing so great with a little bit of shade in while they're young. And <laughs> look at that cutting. It's doing so well too. Getting tall. Here's another little update. So I don't know if you remember last year when I did the experiments with the native soil Moringas, planting them. And uh, over winter, I planted them in fall, and then over winter, pretty much most of them died. But the one right back behind me here, Fragrant Moringa. Fragrant Moringa is a native soil Moringa. When I planted that one in just straight dirt, native clay, Arizona clay, no amendments. The only amendment I put on top was, was wood chips and uh, a little, uh, and, and constant water. Now, these wood chips have actually brought back one of the other native moringas, native soil moringas that died. These wood chips have soaked up the, enough water during the monsoon, they have actually brought back uh, one of my moringas that died over winter, the, one of the native soils, and I'm gonna show you right now. Yeah, check it out. This was the native soil moringa that had died back over winter, and now there's three trunk coming up out of that hole. So it's re looking really good in there. Three trunks coming up right out of that one hole where the tree died. There was one right here too that didn't make it. This one's a native soil Moringa too. And this one I named Fragrant Moringa because the flowers on this one smell like jasmine. And it's uh, delicious smelling. Very delicious. But then also check this out. This Moringa also died over winter and uh, it's just coming right back now, so strong. So sometimes, I mean, if you just forget about a Moringa, if it dies, it might come right back when you don't expect it. Now we just throw a little water on this every day, attach it to the system and then boom, it'll, it'll do really great. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? Hi, baby girl. Oh, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl, baby. All right, here's one of uh, my favorite new moringas that I've just planted. Um, this is Tony. Only because Tony told me to plant the tree here. And so I just named it Tony. But if you want a real big growing, fast growing moringa, <laughs> this one's got it. Uh, this one is a very fast growing moringa. I planted it in November. It's basically about this thick in November, maybe a little thicker. No, it wasn't quite that thick yet. I'll bet you it was like this thick, about an inch when I planted this tree. And now, and that was in November. Look at this thing. It's huge, it's got a huge trunk, massive canopy. You can see here where I topped the branches the first time, topped it there. Topped it over there, topped it right there. You can see all the new branches coming out. And look, I only got one pod, but it's a massive pod. This one, let's see, from the top of the pod to the bottom, it's gonna be 24 inches, 23 inches. It's a huge pod. Hey baby, what are you doing up there, honey? They love the trees, so do I. Tony's giving me a second pod coming in right here, but that's it. Just growing really fast, not that many pods. All right, so I did some pruning. I took this Moringa down all the way. I harvested all the pods off this PKM1 here and I took it down. I just cut it off right up at the top there. It's still kind of just engulfed in grapes and then there's a nice big sprout coming out off the top, which is nice. I harvested most of the pods off a of ramp here. So ramp provided a lot of pods. I'm starting to catalog these pods. If you can see a pod right up there, it's a smaller pod. And uh, I'm cataloging them as to their properties. So they will be available soon. But I don't have that many right now for everybody. I will have some uh, seeds here coming up pretty soon. I trimmed up Tony a little bit here. 
Uh, you guys come over to Stonehaven. I'm gonna be trimming up. I'm gonna probably have a trim day. And I'll have some Moringa cuttings. So if you can come over to Stonehaven for October 27th, there's a Sunny Slope open studio tour where there's 15 artists that you guys can go see in Sunny Slope. And I, Stonehaven, will be on the tour. So you guys can come here and check out Stonehaven for yourself. I'm gonna have a lot of cool events going on here. And I will have cuttings from some of these trees that you can pick up if you want. And then I also took down Moana. So I, I cut down Moana and harvested all the pods. I got the most pods off of Mo Moana from any other tree. So this one's ready to start popping again. Um, look at Maui back there in the back, looking so majestic. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, in a second, I'm gonna show you all the seeds that I just harvested from everything so you can see all the pods that I'm going to be cataloging and uh, making available with different properties how these things grow so where you can place them and what you can do with the moringa if you like this video give me a big green thumbs up subscribe to the channel comment below and if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button below and the little bell icon right next to it so you know when i post next but as of right now it's every monday wednesday friday at 5 p.m arizona time so stay tuned for that and i really want to say thank you so much to all my patreons it really means the world to me that you guys support me and i just got another couple patreons so thank you for that and uh, you're gonna get your cool pair of Develop Awesome Skills shades in the mail. So if you want your own pair of shades, go to patreon.com forward slash develop awesome skills and become a $3 or more patron a month and I will ship you out some of my cool new shades. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and here are the seeds. This one says shed moringa, but this was just a little moringa by the shed and it had some pods on it that are very small, right? This pod here, for instance, looks like it only has one, two, maybe possibly three viable seeds. Uh, so you see that, oh, little bumps. So this is an exciting one. This is Tony here, look at this. This thing's huge. It's like the size of my head and it goes really down. It's like, it's like really long. I think it's probably about uh, 20, 22, 24 inches, something like that. But Tony, I don't have that many seeds from Tony so these are very valuable seeds to me. So I'm gonna sprout every single one of these. So I'm sorry, but nobody can have my seeds yet from Tony because I only got one pod worth of seeds. So I'm gonna propagate this tree. We're gonna make sure that the properties of the seeds match the properties of the parent tree. And then we might have some more Tonys. And if not, if they don't match the properties of the parent tree, I'm gonna have Tony cuttings available October 27th. So October 27th, you, you know, you everybody has to come if you're in Arizona there is something called the Sunny Slope Open Studio Tour. And there's gonna be 15 artists, artisan artists, all around Sunny Slope on a tour where you could drive to their open studios. You could check out their artwork. And I'm gonna be posting a whole bunch of cool videos about all these amazing artists on the channel here pretty soon in another playlist. So stay tuned for that. But I'm also on the tour. So Stonehaven is on the tour. And we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of really cool stuff that day. So if you wanted to see Stonehaven and you just haven't done it, October 27th is the day to do it. And it's gonna be an all day thing, like from nine to five. And there's gonna be some really cool things. If you go check out the other studios, you can enter to win awesome art. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna have some moringas available. I'm gonna have seeds available. I'm gonna have some moringa fertilizer available. Well, it's fruit tree fertilizer, but it's made from moringa. And I do have to show you that. I'll show you a little quick brief clip of that after the credits. Back to seeds. From the shed moringa, I only got a couple pods. So this is my box that I also put Tony in. These are all the pods from Moana. So when I catalog these, I'm gonna catalog the length of the pod and how many seeds per pod. And some of these have already started opening, so I still cap captured the seed covers so I can still count and use those part of the cataloging. Um, so they're nice, long pods. Um, I'm not sure if Moana is a PKM1, but there's a chance that she is. These seeds are from Ramp, and Ramp is a cutting from Maui, okay? So Maui hasn't put on any pods this year, but these pods are nice and thick. These seeds are gonna be huge on the inside. Like, the girth of that pod is huge. So there's definite benefits to smaller pod trees that are more medium pod producers. And I got that many pods out of this. I haven't cataloged them yet. It's like half a box. But then we go to the PKM1s, 
and PKM1s are hybrid moringas. Now they're bred to produce a lot of flowers and a lot of pods really quickly. And they're huge pods. I mean, the average size pod on this PKM1 is probably 20 inches. So, um, and there's a lot of seeds per pod. So if you, if you wanna make some oil out of your seeds, or you wanna plant a lot of seeds, PKM1s will give you a ton of seeds, but you probably don't wanna put it next to a pool. So that is the PKM1 seeds right there. So I'll be cataloging all this stuff, taking pictures and uh, sharing my cataloging with you. Plus I'm writing a little book right now, so wait for that. It's gonna be a few more months, but it's coming. Those are all my seeds. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. Give me a big green thumbs up. Share this video with the world. Plant more Moringas. Go to the I Want More Moringa Facebook group and join because there's over 14,000 members that are obsessed with Moringas just like me and you. Right after the credits roll, I'm gonna show you this Moringa fertilizer that I just made because, well, I'm making it right now and it's super epic stuff. It's gonna be gold for the garden and that's why I'm calling it Stonehaven Green Gold Fruit Tree Maximizer. I'm gonna have a root drench and I'm also gonna have foliar feed. They might be one and the same thing, but I'm really experimenting right now. Then I'm gonna get it tested at the labs and bring to you some homemade Moringa fertilizer that will supercharge any one of your fruit trees or non-fruiting trees. All right, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned till after the credits. Boom! All right, so here we go, my messy backyard. But these three buckets have some delicious goodness in them. And you can see right here, a whole bunch of Moringa scraps. I pruned a couple branches. And this is Stonehaven Green Gold, round one. Uh, I got 12 inches of Moringa leaves in here. So I, I put 12 inches of Moringa, Moringa leaves and branches. Uh, 10 pounds of brown sugar, six gallons from another fermenting Moringa stem bucket, and then 40 gallons of water to fill it up. And then I added six handfuls of rock dust as well. And, uh, oh yeah, that's a uh, soup mixture. Delicious healthiness. It's starting to get a little stinky. I'm gonna leave this on. Let that do its thing. And then this one's just a whole bunch of random vegetables fermenting in water anaerobically. And then this one is the uh, Moringa stems from the intensive bed harvest. And uh, plus I added a whole bunch of leaves yesterday because leaves are the most nutrient dense part. So I really want to get some of that nutrient into the, but I didn't add any brown sugar to this. This is just Moringa and rainwater. That's the only water I put in these two is rainwater. These fertilizers are epic and it's dirty work making it because it stinks, but I'm doing the dirty work for you and for my garden. <laughs> yep, there it is. Stonehaven Green Gold Fruit Tree Maximizer Root Drench and Foliar Spray. So stay tuned for that, but it will be available. I will have some of it available on October 27th at the Sunny Slope Open Studio Tour. So stay tuned and I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming out so you guys can get pumped up and amped up about the whole tour. Cause it's not just me on the tour, but the Stonehaven leg of the tour is gonna be awesome. So for all you urban gardeners out there, come on down. For all your art lovers out there, come on down and uh, check out all the cool artists here in the new Sunny Slope Art Colony, because that's what it's turning into. So thank you, Larry Ortega, for setting this whole tour up. And thank you to every single artist on the tour. Uh, you guys are gonna make this thing amazing. I can't wait to see you all there. And come, because you could win some cool prizes.